logic was added reasoning and premises to make arguments the best but suddenly something worst happened fallacies fell in it and ruined our life but then came the critical thinkers never hello guys i am anush from amnavad university and as a part of critical thinking argumentation project we are supposed to make a video explaining about any of the concept of critical thinking and i have taken the rate during fallacy so what is fallacy a fallacy is a mistaken belief which is created on the basis of an unsound argument well it is very important to understand the fallacies because if you get to know the fallacies then only then you will be able to differentiate between the valid and invalid arguments and statements Red herring fallacy is a fallacy in which an irrelevant topic is introduced in between of an argument to divert the attention of the listeners and the readers from the original issue. Why do we call red herring? Actually, a red herring is a kind of a dry red fish. It has a very pungent kind of smell. So, uh, originally, what used to happen in the ancient times that the hunters used to uh, put the red herring in the middle of the track and to see whether the hounds were able to resist the smell of the red herring fish and able to catch the uh, foxes. Uh, if they were able to resist the smell of the red herring and get the foxes, they were considered to be trained enough. Similarly, uh, in a red, uh, similarly in the red herring fallacy, if a person is not able to draw the correct conclusion and is divert, uh, and its attention is diverted because of an uh, irrelevant topic, then it is known as a red. So, where do we find red? Well, red herring is everywhere around us. Well, where the key sectors are the literature, commercial advertisements, media, and politics. Talking about the literature, we all have read about the famous novel written by Kenan Doyle, The Sherlock Holmes. In Sherlock Holmes, till the end, you are not able to decide who is the real murderer, the real culprit, as a distraction is created towards an another character, and uh, your entire focus is on another character and finding about his or uh, uh, finding about his flaws. So, but till the end, when you came to uh, come to know that the real murder is someone else, that's a red herring fallacy. Collective, would you increase the frequency of garbage pickup? Well, citizen, that's an excellent question, and I thank you for it. I think it's great we live in a town where you can ask questions, because without questions, we just have answers. And an answer without a question is a statement. Oh, I like him. He looks me in the eye. <laughs> I'd like to have a beer. It's 11 p.m. in night and Anand is in home. He isn't even picking up his phone. Where is he? Bye, friends. Bye. Hi, Dad. Why were you so late? Oh, mom, actually, it's a full moon day. Full moon day today and there were high tides in the sea, so you can figure it out. How is that even relevant? Uh, yeah. Isn't it? In this video, we saw that the boy was coming really, really late from a party. And in his defense, when his uh, mom asked about coming late, in his defense, he talked about the um, high tides and the full moon day. So that is also completely a red herring fallacy. I'm so sad today. I broke up. Huh? <laughs> you were in a relationship? <laughs> you know, people in South Africa, the children are so suffering and their condition is even worse than yours. Huh? Wait, what? In this video, we saw that a young girl was having a breakup and she was really, really sad. But somehow her mom diverted her attention from the original topic by talking, uh, by talking about the malnourished children in Africa. That is a red herring fallacy. But in the entire conversation, the father was completely clueless. Many times, the red herring fallacy is confused with the strongman fallacy. 
So what is Strongman fallacy? A Strongman fallacy is a common form of an argument and it is an illogical and informal fallacy where a misinterpretation is created of the opponent's argument and it is refuted to in order to win an argument. So even though it seems completely fine, but it is truly fallacious. Uh, one who engages in this kind of a fallacy in an argument is considered to be attacking the strongman. Now I would like to show you a video. Uh, 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 now I would like to show you a video explaining about the strongman fallacy. Allies offers an argument to Bob. She wants to convince him of something. Let's say Allies' argument is really pretty strong, like this boxer. Bob is not sure if he can handle this argument. So instead of trying to refute Bob decides to engage the straw figure, which is a weaker and distorted version of Allies' original argument. Because it's weaker, Bob is easily able to refute this straw figure argument. The straw figure fallacy is complete when Bob does the dance of joy and claims that he has completely refuted Alice's original argument, but in truth, he has refuted a distorted misrepresentation of it. You. We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up. You. Yes. Not you, him. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you. And I'm about to. The format of the strongman fallacy. Even the strongman fallacy is used frequently by us in our day-to-day -day life, we don't know whether we are using it or not. That's completely fallacious about this fallacy. Now, first of all, about the strongman fallacy, you need to jump into an argument, then you need to create a misinterpretation or opponent's argument. So that means misinterpretation can be intentional or unintentional. Then by refuting your opponent's argument, that means going against your opponent's argument and proving his misinterpreted argument wrong. You need to prove your own argument right, and then you can do the victory dance. So, now moving towards the conclusion, how to overcome this kind of fallacies? Actually, when a person is misled by fallacious statements, he or she can overcome these fallacies by following the traits of critical thinker. Well, out of all the traits of the critical thinker, to prevent these fallacies, uh, first of all, you need to be alert. And alertness, uh, and by staying alert and pointing out the fallacious statement, uh, one can protect uh, from deriving the invalid uh, conclusions. Other than that, you should also be questioning. An individual who is questioning towards an irrelevant topic, so he or she is not caught in the bog of fallacies. Third, a person should be well informed. A person should be well informed and educated regarding his own particular topic, so there is no chance or any uh, uh, so there is not any chance of his misinterpreting his another person's statement. If a person follows all the traits of the critical thinker, then there are very much less chance of him being trapped in the fallacies and the fallacious statements. Please do like, share, subscribe and mention your views in the comment section below.